Hello everyone, welcome back to Fishing Barents Sea. Uh, if you watched the live stream the other day, you will know that we were just about to buy the boat and the game crashed. So we saved coming into the harbor. Thank goodness it saves when you come into the harbor. Um, otherwise, we would have had to make all those runs again because I didn't, I didn't save. I think it auto saves every so often though. Uh, so either way, let's get down to business here. I want to check this new boat out. Purchase new boat. We do have the license available for this. It is 450,000 uh, kroner, I think is what it is. Uh, I'm trying, you know, if I'm still pronouncing it wrong, somebody let me know in the comments. That'd be great, but uh, I'm trying to get that right. Uh, 450,000 kroner, bah. Supports net fishing, you can purchase these at port. We can net fish now, so that's super cool. Uh, also supports up to one crew member who can assist you with tasks on the boat. Find someone to hire at the bars of various ports. Will do. What happened to our other boat? That's what I want to know. Look at this thing, man. This thing looks good. It's a good looking little boat. It's bigger. It's a lot bigger than the other one, actually. Alright, so if it supports net fishing, did we retain any of our uh, other stuff? We did come with a, few, uh, a full tank of fuel. Let's see what the engine upgrade on this thing looks like. 50,000. We'll need to go grab uh, 50,000 to get that get that upgrade. 30,000 for storage upgrades. Now this boat is probably one we're going to upgrade quite a bit before we try to go up to the next one. Excuse me. Because the next one is 1.95 million. It's almost $2 million. So we're probably going to upgrade um, this one here quite a bit before we do anything else. Now I wonder if I can, I can make this uh, ESS outhouse as well. Make it the SS Outhouse 2. We want it to be, uh... We want it to be visible on our boat, so... Huh, kind of running out of room there. Let's back that up. Let's just do SS Outhouse. Still kind of running out of room there. It's like it only covers a certain area, but that'll work right there. Uh, if we do it in blue... Do it in light blue. There we go. Looks good to me. SS Outhouse it is. And I want to go to the town. Uh, we don't have enough money to hire a good crew member. Oh, wait a minute. Kristen Bolstad. 13000 We might have enough money. First, I want to go make sure we have what we need uh, to do this. We can buy lines here, but we can't buy net here. Um, we only have two long lines on this boat as well. Uh, I wish I'd have sold... I wish I'd have thought about it and sold our other nets. I mean, our long lines before we... Uh, Wait a minute, we have some in the water, don't we? Go to the map. No, we do not have any in the water, apparently. I thought we did. Uh, so yeah, I wish I'd have thought about it. And really got into uh, selling the, uh, <laughs> the long line before we did that. That's kind of a stupid mistake. Um, and we don't have enough money to buy another long line, I don't think. Let's go back here. Uh, they're 10,000. So yeah, we got enough to buy one more. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. And we're gonna have to run out immediately and put down some, put down some lines, so. Let's get started. Going to exit the port. Oh, I don't have any baited lines. I gotta bait them. Uh, hopefully we got enough to bait all three of these. Get that baited with krill. That baited with mackerel, and that baited with mackerel. I want to catch some redfish, so... Alright, let's get going. See what kind of juice this thing has got. Now the speed is supposed to be better on this dude. Look at that spotlight. That thing's a whole lot brighter on this deal. Look at that big fishing boat right there. Man, I can't wait to get that thing. Alright, let's get out of here and set some of these. Now, I do want to get into the net fishing in this episode, so we're going to have to figure out how to do that. They're not not real easy to do there. Crew. We have no crew. Uh, long haul, hand gut. Long line haul, hand gut. So we can, we can uh, get them to do all this stuff. We can get them to rest, repair. We can cook. We can get them to cook. All kinds of stuff we can do with them. So we'll be back to that after we go grab uh, one load of fish here. I'm going to head out, and I'll see you guys out on the open water. Uh, 
Uh, fun fact about this boat is you can walk up on the the bow, which is kind of neat. Uh, you actually get out and come down here and walk around and see different things. As you see here, we got our cooler. I think that's our cooler or freezer. Uh, holding tank. But there is no um, bed or anything below that we can get to in this one. It wasn't the other. got a screwdriver laying there. Turn that over to that real quick. Go ahead and shut that guy. Actually, you know what? I want to drive from out here. I can see my, my sonar from here. Alright, back into third person. Let's pull our sonar up on the outside here so we can see what we're doing. Some whales off over here. That's pretty neat. Let's see, I want to try to drop a few lines. We need redfish, but there ain't a whole lot of redfish here. A lot of heavy redfish in that area, but I'm pretty sure redfish is going to be somewhere other than our little opened up spot. So what I want to do is I want to set all three of these and then I want to jog down here, this undiscovered location. Because uh, we haven't discovered this port yet, and I want to go check it out. It's not that far down. Uh, and I may use it to fast travel to get there and back, but uh, yeah, this is a good spot for haddock, but we're baited up for mostly redfish. So maybe we'll catch a ton of redfish here and get some pretty good money. Uh, I do want to kind of ride around here for a second just to check out uh, the area and maybe hope, hopefully hit a dense spot of redfish. That's the idea anyway. Uh, now this boat looks really cool, man, compared to the other one. I know the other one was just your grandpa's old fishing boat, but uh, it's nice to have a little upgrade, even though it cost us half a million dollars. It's still nice to have an upgrade. Now, I don't know how to get the net fishing stuff, but I hope to figure it out. Drop one here. I dropped the wrong one. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that is redfish. Maybe that's right. I don't know why that went all the way back to zero. It was weird. Alright, we got that dropped out on some redfish, it looks like. We'll need to drop one more of these out. And I hope it's mackerel that's redfish. Maybe backwards, but we've arrived at your final waypoint. Well, thank you. I know this boat engine's a little louder than the other one is. That's for sure. Let's see. All species. Yep, I want to cut right through the middle of this thing and drop them straight across the center here. Looks like there's a hot spot for the school just all, all the way around this place, so definitely want to make sure that we catch uh, some good sonar, uh, some a good amount of fish on sonar here. About halfway through it. Go ahead and drop there. There's a few fish there. We'll go ahead and drop. This thing drops all the way back down to zero for some reason. So uh, the setting process is going to take a little, a little learning curve for this boat, I think. Come around this way, and we will drop the other mackerel right there. Now that should give us a pretty good number of redfish. I don't know the exact storage capacity on the boat. I forgot to look, to be quite honest. But uh, there we go. We are baited and set down. Now we're going to travel down to that other uh, port down there. And I'm probably going to drive it, so I'll see you guys back when we get closer. Or if I see something else interesting that I want to share. All right, guys. Rolling into port down here. Uh, this is a pretty nice port right here, actually. It's a pretty nice little uh, area. Got the mountains as you come in to view. A little horseshoe. Looks like it rolls, rolls back in there pretty far as well. A nice little town. And businesses and docks and all that kind of stuff along this side. You get the... Um, what is that called? That thing be called? Uh, it's a barrier of some sort. Kind of splits the water. It's probably man-made. Can't think of the name of it. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, you can see the road come down the side there. I guess that's going to the other little, uh, the other port down there, the other town. They may be coming out here to this mountain. That's exactly what it's doing. It's coming out here to this. So pretty nice, pretty nice place here. Colorful houses, businesses on this side. Not bad, not bad at all. 
Now, I don't know if we had to go somewhere else to get net, because I don't think that place sold net. So this may be where we need to be for uh, to get nets. We'll see how much they are. Uh, let's see how much our... Uh... So they already got three hours on them just for that little, uh, that little trip we just made. But not too awful bad. Won't have skipped too much time because it's taking us a little while to get back up there. I am probably going to fast travel back up uh, just to save myself some time today. Uh, although I do have a little while to play, so uh, I may not. I may get my go ahead and get my kilometers in uh, to get to the next boat. Because we got to get, uh, is it like 40 kilometers or something for the next one? So it's going to take quite a while to do. Uh, I know I want to get some income started pretty quick and get this engine upgraded on this thing, and I do plan on upgrading this boat quite a bit because we're going to be in it for a while. So uh, I don't think we're going to hit 1.9 million too easily. Ripe fjord, ripe fjord, ripe fjord discovered. But apparently I got some kind of achievement, so. Pretty nice. Yes, I want to dock at the port. Oh boy. How bad is this going to be? Feel like it's going to jerk me over to the port now. No? Well, it's just holding me right to where we're at. Cool. Let's go to the dock. Uh, buy fuel. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and buy fuel. I know we don't have a whole lot of money, but that's okay. They do not have boats for sale, cannot repair boat. We can change the name here, that's about it though. Town. Um, total crew cut, 0%. There are currently no crew members available to hire. Okay. Boat services. Oh no. Um, well, it looks like there's all kinds of different insurance and stuff now. We forgot to buy the uh, MG and Sons Naval Towing. That's okay, we'll, we'll get there. They do not have a bar. Okay then, let's go to the fish market, see if they have lines, they do not have lines. Where, where do I buy, I want to buy some, go to the wiki real quick, uh, getting started, no, fishing tools, that's what I want to look at, uh, fishing tools, net fishing, uh, made from fibers woven in a grid like structure, they used to catch, uh, Catch or gill fish. Okay then. Uh, fishing nets are usually mesh formed, knotting together. Yeah, I know what nets are. How to use. Where do I buy them? Um, yeah, where do I buy them? Okay, it doesn't say where to buy them. I have no idea. Uh, it's definitely not here though. No fish nets to be had here. Uh, I guess we will pass some time since we're already here, and we don't have crew, they don't have a bar, so there's nothing, not a whole lot to do, we can sleep on the boat, I guess. Uh, yep, looks like that's what we're gonna do with the weather forecast, 11% precipitation. Uh, tomorrow is definitely gonna rain, the next day as well, after that, it looks like it's gonna be clear. Then it's gonna rain again. <laughs> it looks like we got one day of clear weather, let's go ahead and skip some time, actually, let's go to the map real quick, just to see what our... We're on four hours, four hours. Okay, so we'll go with the four hour one and we're gonna need to skip about um, 14 hours. That should give us, that should give us time to get back up there. All right, leave port. Yes, do. Gotta back out of here a little bit. This is a pretty nice little place here. The sun coming up or going down? Looks like it's coming up, but the mountain should be throwing a shadow right there. Instead, it's bouncing off the water. It's kind of weird. Like a little graphic glitch, but not recognizing the mountain as being there. All right. Now, as we head out, we can let that go, and we can uh, see what kind of soak we got on these. 18 hours, they're in good shape, but we need to get to, to blue, so we'll, they'll, give, they'll be to 20 hours by the time we get there, so it should work out pretty well. Let's set some waypoints, and we're going to fast travel. Fast travel to there. We'll place another waypoint here, but we will uh, drag that on up. 18 hours on that. Let's fast travel. 
past a few hours, 19 hours and 58 minutes. All these are just about ready to go. Uh, this one's ready to pull up. So I heard 20 hours was about the best time that uh, that you could let them let them soak for. So a 20 hour soak should be pretty good on these. I'm just gonna creep over this direction. I got them set kind of weird. So uh, got this one set this way, and then that one set going kind of back and forth across the screen like that, and the other one set kind of going this way. So to get spun around here to pick these up. So we can just start turning here and slide in next to them. Kind of hoping that's what I do. I don't want to run them over. You don't want to get them caught in the rudder. Or the prop, rather. You don't want to get them caught in the prop. That's what I was looking for. All right. There we go. We'll have to back up for this one. Uh, normally fishing, when you're having to back up, you're wasting time. So it's never a good thing. All gear. I do. All right. Here we go, boys. Here we go. That's pretty good. I'll take a three. Oh, okay. So it's going to be plus three percent. Looks like the whole time I'm not going to be able to hit a perfect. So, although there are eleven fish here, there's a perfect. There we go. There's eleven fish here to hit. So, man, this music in the background is something else. I dig it. Kind of adds to the the weather. And, the hard work and if you were gonna do a TV show this would be kind of this would be the kind of music you'd want to put behind uh, a cinematic view of what's going on here there we go just a good and how many more is left two more man I can't believe we hit that many perfects we're up to 42% not bad. 47%. Very nice. And yeah, let's go ahead and gut them. Um, oh, achievement unlocked. A thousand kilogram of Pollock. Nice. Uh, looks like we caught a thousand kilograms of Pollock in one go, I think was the deal. 134 Pollock at one time there. Um, 65 Haddock and 12 Redfish. Want to gut the fish. Yes, I do. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, I got one of those, I think. That wasn't very good at all. And take our time. 150%. Very nice. Very nice there. Oh boy. There we go. We got 45% of that one. That wasn't too good, but uh, we tried. Take our time with it. 150%. Yes. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Oh, that one pulled down hard. So the further out, these little circles that pop up, the further out they are, the harder it's going to pull that direction. So if it's down here, way out here, it's going to pull really hard this way. If it's right here, so it's going to pull very hard down, but it's going to pull down. Up here, it's going to pull very hard this way. In this area, if it's way out here, it's going to pull very hard up. And if it's closer to it, it's going to pull a little bit up. So, uh, Something I had just noticed that most of you probably already know <laughs> that I didn't realize. Uh, let's get back into third person here. we got some more right here somewhere. There they are. Uh, we have uh, 3,000 kilograms free, which is good. We're probably going to need the space. These are 20 hours in. I don't know that we're going to be able to get all three of these. We need to upgrade the capacity of the boat as well. Uh, we'll see what kind of money we get from this. I know we're going to have to upgrade the engine because this thing is not going to like uh, pulling all this weight around at a decent speed. Because we're only going 5.8 right now. 5.8 knots is not very fast. Um, the other boat could go faster than that with a full load. So, And as sad as I hate to say this... Sad as it is to say this, we may have to let this last one set and soak a little while longer uh, and run back into town. Which is just right there, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Be right over there behind us. Uh, but we may have to do that. We may run out of room, so we may not have a choice. Go ahead and start throttling back here. Did want to do this by hand once just to see. E, yes, there we go. Haul long line. So this long line has 250. We can buy a thousand long line. This should be, uh, was it redfish? What's it called? Uh, 
I don't even remember what they're called. Should be the red ones anyway. <laughs> this should be mostly those. Uh, even though there's not that many of them in this area. So it's probably going to be mostly uh, Haddock. Which is fine too because our quota for Haddock is pretty low. Our quota for Redfish is pretty high. Which that was for the other boat though. Our quota should have started over. We'll see once we get back in the boat here and start moving. How many is on this? 13. Yeah, we're going to have to leave that other one soaking for a little while. And uh, head back in. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up that whole other string. Because it's going to be pretty full too, I think. There's 9 of 13. 39%. That's not too bad. We're doing, we're doing about the same as we did over there. 42. We got a couple left here, don't we? We do. Two more. Two more. Let's hit perfect on these last two. Okay, I'll take good. Anything over 50% is good. So let's hit good, at least good on this last one. Perfect. 53%. Very nice. Uh, 170. There we go. Two achievements unlocked. Uh, 1,000 kilograms of haddock and 1,000 kilograms of redfish. Very nice. Um... 45 Pollock, 58 Haddock, and 178 Redfish. That's going to make for a pretty good uh, chunk of change in port. Oh boy, it pulled me that time. I didn't, I didn't make a good cut. There was no good cut made there. That was, that was okay. That was a good bit of that one done. Perfect lay. Or perfect gut, I guess. We're not filleting them. It was a perfect gutting. 90%, not too bad. Four star quality. That's pretty good, guys. All right, let's 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 uh, let's do some driving here. And we have 847 kilograms of space left. That's not going to be near enough, so we're going to have to head back into town. We'll come back out for this last, uh, last string here. So uh, we have 1,800 kilograms of Pollock on board. We have 900 kilograms of Haddock on board, and we have 1,400 kilograms of Redfish. That's pretty doggone good. Now, our... Uh, our quota did go up with this boat for everything, so we have uh, 20,000 kilograms of 200,000 kilograms of our quota met. Take a look at the map real quick, make sure I'm going the right way. I am. I'm just going to set a set a waypoint right right here somewhere. There we go. While we go over all this, just so I have a general direction, I don't have to keep looking at uh, the map or whatever. I know that I'm not going to run into anything going this route, so. Um, but yeah, we've caught uh, about 10% of our quota, so that's pretty good. Um, a little more than 10% 10, 10 of our quota for Haddock. 11,500 of 65,000, so... Uh, and Redfish, we're going to creep up on the quota for Redfish pretty quickly. But we did get some good 5-star cuts in there. Fish prices at plus 50%. Fish prices at plus 30%. And fish prices at minus 10% for this 2-star stuff. So uh, we got some pretty good, we got some pretty good uh, cuts there should get a pretty good price for these line info line 3 250 50 hook mackerel is still there with 21 hours soak on it we're gonna have to hurry into town there's some good fishing right here where's this at oh this is just on the outside okay maybe they moved maybe they moved to the outside it looks like it there's some redfish and some, and some pollock there too all right well I'm gonna jog one into town and uh I will uh, bring you guys back when we go to sell stuff. All right, just about back into port here. And uh, I think we're gonna get some pretty good prices for these uh, these fish here with the five star, five star cut rating on them. Hopefully we will anyway. Just wanna kinda slow down some so we're not flying into port. We do want to dock at the port. 179 pal uh, Pollock, Pollock, 123 haddock and 190 redfish. That's a pretty good chunk of change. 41,000 uh, kroner for the pollock, uh, 12,000 for the haddock, and 26,599 for the redfish. So we got a pretty good price out of the uh, out of the pollock that time around because uh, we had less pollock and double the money of the redfish. So that's pretty good. Not bad at all. 77,2962 was our total take. Um, Total fish re revenue was 69,541 uh, kroner. Um, price change for the port reputation was 7,488 kroner. So 77,000 is our final total. Not too bad, I would say, for a day out on the uh, Barents Sea. At the dock, let's go ahead and go to the fish market here. 
and get these lines rebated with uh, one with krill and one with mackerel. There we go. See if we can't catch our quota for uh, redfish and pollock fairly quickly. Let's go to the dock. Go ahead and repair a hole because, well, they damaged on the way in. Go ahead and fill up since we got the money. Upgrades to the boat. Now, I want to find nets. That's what I want to find. Cutting table. Hauler. Net hauler is 20,000. I don't, I don't necessarily want the radar upgrade, but if we have the money, I don't know if that helps with the uh, with finding fish. It probably does. Uh, but I do want to get that engine upgrade. So let's get this. Let's get the net hauler. Yes, and do we have... We do have 50,000 left, so we can get that first engine upgrade. Uh, but I think the storage upgrade... Storage upgrade needs to wait. We need to get the engine upgrade first, so we can... Uh, we can get out there and get back a little faster. Now, we've got uh, everything baited up. If we don't have enough money to buy netting, which we probably will not. 2,000. That's not bad. 4,000. And 6,000. Let's buy a 120 meter net. Let's just do it big time right here, right off the bat. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and buy the big one. For 4,000, oh, we don't have enough money. Let's go ahead and buy this one then for 2,000. <laughs> I guess that's probably what we need to do. Uh, and there's no baiting required. So that's good. Uh, we can just take this puppy out. We are all set, I think. Go fishing. Um, wait a minute, can we pull in our other line now? I don't think we can. I think we may have just wasted some money out there. Um, well, that's probably not good. Life lessons, I guess. Life lessons. <laughs> we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to go catch some fish on the with the net quickly, and then come back in. No, I do not want to dock at port. Let's get all this stuff here. We want to set gear. I didn't click on that, thank you very much. Now with this engine upgrade, we should be able to scoot pretty good. Uh, we are going to need to catch some fish quickly and then uh, get back out there and pick that uh, pick that bad boy back up. So you want to catch them when they're blue. But after they start turning green, it's still okay, but you want to catch them when they're blue, that's the best. Uh, if we can salvage that line at all, I would like to. We're going to have to come out, catch fish, come back in, change this back over to... Um, uh, long line hauling then come back out with the net or then, then change it back over to the net after we grab this last long line here and I don't think we're going to make it because that thing's already at one day uh, and it's only got 48 hours on it so uh, we are going to need to watch the sonar here um, I did see a nice amount of redfish coming in so uh, if I go straight back out, let's see, let's, let's just go to the map real quick and take this waypoint and aim it straight right there. I saw a pretty good amount of, uh, of fish on the way in, redfish and stuff, um, that was kind of outside the hot spots. So I, I definitely want to be on the lookout for that. It looks like they move around quite a bit, so uh, if we can catch a good amount of fish in those little hot spots that are outside of the map hot spots, we'll probably do pretty good, honestly. Uh, I was just really, really interested in throwing this net out. I want to, I want to, I want to pull with the net a little bit. See if, see if we can catch something good. See what the haul difference is, that kind of stuff. So, and this is the bigger net. This is the no, this is the small. This is a 75 meter net. So, but we'll see. See how good it goes. We start seeing some fish pop up on radar here. We're gonna, we're gonna drop it down. All right, there's one red fish popping up. If we get another, we're gonna go ahead and drop this line. No, nothing yet. All right, well, I see our buoys in the distance. I see my, my, uh, my uh, waypoint there, not far away. Uh, at 12 knots, it doesn't take very long to get back out here. So uh, maybe we'll see some good stuff on the way in right here. Uh, we can't pick that uh, line up yet anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't think. I don't think we'll be able to. I think it changes over completely. Uh, I should have hauled all my lines, I guess. Uh, I'm a moron like that, but I did say I wanted to figure it out, so we're going to figure it out. Coming into the hot zone here, let's go ahead and drop gear. Um, 
Drift netting is a fishing technique commonly used in the Barrier Sea. Nets hang vertically in the sea without being anchored to the bottom. Uh, floats are attached to a rope along the top of the net, and weights are attached to another rope along the bottom of the net. To set your net, you must choose a net length. Longer nets have larger catchment area, which should result in greater yield. A fish net should stay in the sea for at least a minimum of four hours before you pick it up. Uh, the net must be picked up before 48 hours have elapsed, or else it will be lost. Similar to long lines, the color of the net's buoy on the mini-map gives you an indication. This is going to be pretty good. Look at all these redfish right here. That's going to be a good one right here. Um, mini-map gives you an indication of the expected result when you haul it in. Green or blue border will result in the best catch. Nets cannot be placed within 50 meters of other fishing gear and will have uh, decreased yield if they were within 100 meters. Ah, crap. I bet we're, I bet we're within 100 meters of that, uh, that buoy over there. Um... Nets can be used again if they're not too damaged. Okay, hey, cool. So let's go ahead and drop right there. Uh, what do we have to do? We have to keep it in the center. I guess. We have to turn our boat to keep this thing straight. Or does it lay out a different route here? Um, how far are we from that other... That's going to be too close, isn't it? Probably. Start turning that puppy. There we go. Good deal. Net out. Now, I want to go see if we can pick this up over here. I doubt we can. Uh, this one's probably this, this one's probably going to be lost. I don't think we'll be able to do anything with it. So, four hours. That's not very long in game, honestly. It's not going to take long at all to, uh, to wait that four hours out. I want to go see if we can pick it. If we can pick this up, head back into town. It should be about the right time to snag these. Um, it only takes about two hours to run back to town and back, so... But there's no, there's no long line puller on this. There's no, uh... There's nothing to pull the long line up with. Unless we can do it by hand, which I don't think, I don't think it's gonna let us, to be real honest. We're gonna try, though. Nope. You need another crew member to assist hauling with the net. Well, I think we have officially screwed up, guys. <laughs> we are, we are completely screwed here on uh, on fishing because we're broke, and um, we have stuff in the water we can't get out without a crew member. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around, run back into town. We're going to take out a loan from the bank. I think. Give me just a second. All right, coming back into port. Um, Man, it's just sickening to, to know that I, I, I screwed up this bad. <laughs> uh, the mistakes you make while you're learning, it's nice, isn't it? Uh, I guess there is a fairly steep learning curve for sea fishing when you've never done it. I didn't consider two people having to pull the net in. That makes sense, though. Um, but we know now. So if now on, we need at least one crew member to help us pull nets. I'm guessing the bigger the net, the more crew we need to do so. Uh, we are floating, so we should be good. Where did my mouse go? There it is. The mouse just disappeared all of a sudden. So we want to go to the town and we want to go to the bank. We want to borrow. Uh, you're in too much debt to take out another loan. Um, okay. See, 3% of your total earnings. Um... Net hauling. He's not very good at it, but uh, it's cheaper. It's only 8,000. How good are you at net hauling? Not very good. Net hauling, you are extremely good, Karen. You might be the one we need, but you get 5% of our take. Uh, cooking, net hauling, long line, machine gutting, hand gutting. That's pretty good. Uh, INR is. The best one for sure. Let's see if we can hire Karen. Uh, he's better at long line than he is uh, net hauling. So let's see if we get not enough money. Well, guys, we have put ourselves in a pickle because we don't have enough money to change back over to uh, oh, you know what? We can go back over to long line hauler for nothing. We've already bought it. So let's do that. Let's hurry back out there to try to catch our, uh, 
catch our long line before it completely goes bad. It's got one one day, two hours on it already. I'm going to fast travel back out, I do think, just to cut some time down uh, for me in real life here. And uh, pick this guy up. Let's see. Let's travel to there. And then let's travel to here. That should give us... Uh, oh, crap. That's not going to be a good yield at all on that uh, on that long line. Uh, and these are going to be ready in two hours. I don't think we're going to make enough money to hire a hand off of this long line for some reason. I just don't think it's going to happen that way. Get slowed down pretty good there. All gear. Yes, sir. So I can do long line and net hauling at the same time. I can uh, I can drop some long lines for 20 hours and drop some nets for 4 hours and we can do both and just be jogging back and forth into town. That might be the way to do this. Uh, if we make enough money off of this haul, which I don't think we're going to. <laughs> we're only getting 3 fish out of this. So, or 3 on the line. Oh man, this is pitiful. Uh, let's do some gutting. Not great. That was perfect. That was pretty good. Uh, four star gut rating. Let's head back into town with our three fish. Uh, what did we end up with here? Not good. Not good at all. Ended up with 433 kilograms. Uh, so I guess what we need to do is we need to go ahead and drop some more gear then. And I'm just going to drop it, and uh, I guess we'll leave our net in the water. That's all I can say to do. I don't have much of a choice at the moment. i got to make some money back, so. And that's a good redfish area right there, too. That hurts my feelings. Yeah, we got to make some money back on this deal. And that's got to be 100 meters away. This should be 100 meters away. It's a 75-meter net, so... Go ahead and drop the other one right there. This thing goes all the way down to zero when you're dropping that. That bothers me. Alright, now that needs a 20 hour soak on it. Um, let's take this in. If we can get 8,000, we're going to come back out and grab these here. Uh, this is a pretty good area here for net fishing, too. Uh, so we got one down there, one down there. This We're going to need 8,000 just to pick these up, and we got about. Uh, 50 minutes to figure it out, so, um, this is going to be tight. I think I screwed up pretty big time. Let me get back into town. Well, we did it. We have enough money to buy the helper to haul the net in. 8,700. Perfect. Yes, I will take it. Now, let's head straight back out. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. That's not good. We need to switch back over. Uh, we need to switch back over to our... There's upgrades. There we go. Switch back over to the net. There we go. And now we can go fishing. I do have undamaged net. Oh, my God. Why? Why are you driving the hull of the boat? And uh, all I did was dock there, man. I guess you got to come in at a good, uh, good angle or it doesn't work that way. Alright, so we may be able to get ourselves out of this bad situation. Um, I didn't really consider doing it that way, but I guess this works. But where's my hand at? Where's my crew member here? Oh, he's here. Okay, good. He's resting. Yeah, good. Rest up, man. We're going out to haul one net, and then you are, you are fired. Uh, speaking of one net, how's that net doing? Four hours and 13 minutes, and it's still red. Why is it still red? It shouldn't still be red. It should be ready to go. Got a four-hour soak on it. Huh. Thing said four hours, right? Let's go back to, to the dock and pass some time, I guess.
check out the wiki real quick. Let's see, net fishing. Um, red very low, yellow. Yeah, so we need to we need to rest for a little while, I guess. We'll, we'll speed up some time. I thought that thing said a uh, minimum of four hours. That's what it was. It needs to set for a minimum of four hours. So I bet this needs to set for about twenty as well. Uh, so basically, jog out, grab this thing, and then come back to port and sell our fish and then head back out with uh, the long line set up to snag those. This might work out pretty well. Doing both would be kind of weird, but uh, this video is getting kind of long. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pass some time and then we're going to head out and see if we can do at least one net pickup. I'm glad I got ourselves, uh, we got ourselves out of this bad situation here. Because that could have been pretty bad, to be quite honest. Dock and hammer fest. Skip time. Let's skip, uh, skip 13 hours. Go fishing. <laughs> Just in and out, in and out. Let's go. Let's get on with this. Oh, why are these orange already? They've only been out for 14 hours. That's long line. Well, whatever. I guess we'll lose some on those too. Or maybe they're not ready to pick up. Maybe that's what it is. 17 hours on this one. Green is good. So let's fast travel back out to those. We have enough fuel too. Yeah, we do. We're good on fuel. Let's tra fast travel back out. It ain't that far. But uh, I'm just trying to speed up the process here. There's one. There is two. Fast travel out to that. And this should be our net right here in front of us. Resting. Yeah, buddy, I hope you're good and rested. I'm about to pull some net up. This should have a bunch of fish in it. Uh, this will give us a good idea of how uh, how lucrative the net hauling is going to be. I feel like it's going to be pretty good. I did not mean to slow down that much. <laughs> that was pretty much a stop. Uh, I feel like 0.8 knots is uh, is just floating in the water. So. Come on. Uh, back up. Back up. Back up. Now why can't I haul this net in? Need a crew member to assist me. Well, that's what he's here for. All gear. Oh. Uh, net haul. There we go. Physically have to move him over there. Okay. Now let's haul gear. How does this work? Oh, S. Oh. Uh, crap. Well, I lost one. Alright. Uh, D. S. 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 Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna test my... Test my, uh, mobility in my fingers, I think. D. S. 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 Okay. Plane's going overhead. S. D. S. S. Okay. And uh, W W W A. Uh, oh man! Look at all them fish. 161 redfish, 161 haddock, 146 pollock. Woo, son! Uh, you know what? I want him to gut. Whoa! I want him to gut the fish. I think. So let's go back out to third person mode. Uh, and gut. Yes. He is gutting fish. Gutting 36 fish per hour. Okay. Let's look at our uh, storage here. The gutting is pretty good. Uh, he's not doing a terrible job, so. We got a ton of fish, man. This is nice. So I wonder if we could hand gut ourselves. Uh, not hand gut ourselves, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, F. Let's get off of that. We do some fish gutting. After we say no to it. Boy, he's over here working away, son. Get with it. Uh, yeah, I can't do any gutting after we say no. There's our fish back there. This thing's got a very large, uh, very large hold on it, so that's pretty nice. Um, fresh fish, gutted fish. So we got a ton of fresh fish. I should have gutted these myself, I feel like. Uh, I wonder if I can gut them... Uh, myself now. 
Why, why does that stop turning when I go into a menu over here? I feel like that may be a bug. Boy, he is going to take a long time to gut all these fish. Yeah. I wonder if I can just, uh... You know what, let's put him on repairs. And I'll do some gutting myself. Actually, you know what, let's put him back on there. He should be fine. It's going to take him a long time to gut all those fish. Maybe I can gut them. I don't know how to manually gut now that we've not done it since the we hauled it in. Dang it all. Man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm just messing this up left and right here. we got a ton of fish. Out of one net. Net hauling is the way to go, guys. Net hauling is the way to go. Um, I'm going to go pick up those last two, uh, those last two pods our last two long lines and go from there because there ain't no need to throw long line anymore not after that now I wonder line info those are 16 hours in those should be about right though to be quite honest they shouldn't be orange I don't know why they are let's see maybe they're too close together maybe they're not ready I don't know, I've never seen them turn orange unless it was after they were blue, so. It's gonna take this guy a long time to gut all these fish. I can gut fish, okay, there we go, let's do this. I had to take him off of it for me to be able to do it. That was the problem. Pretty good, pretty good. It's not terrible. Three and a half star rating. I'm not extremely happy with it, but uh, two star rating. That's not good. We're going to lose money. Three star rating. We're still going to lose money, I think. That one should be pretty good. Good. That was our last one. We ended up with a four star rating. That's not bad. Uh, is this guy cooking, cooking a meal every 10 hours? 10 hours? We're not going to be out here 10 hours. Just go rest, man. <laughs> Just go rest. I got this. Let's head back into town with our gutted fish now. Boy, he takes forever to do anything. We don't want this guy. We're going to fire him, I think. Wish we could fire him before we sell our fish. That way he doesn't get a cut. <laughs> uh, I just paid you eight grand to come out with me for three hours and pull a net and try to gut fish. And he didn't do that good of a job of either. All right, back into town. I will worry about these things off camera. I'll probably just switch back over, go pull them, and then uh, sell the fish. But I'm curious to see. This is going to be our biggest haul yet for money. So, um, Well, I'll say that, but I, I think it was just more all at one time than it was. We had to go get several long lines at the same time uh, to get this amount of fish on here. So that's probably what it was. All right, back to port. Yeah, so different people have different stats, different crew members you can hire, and I'm thinking uh, this guy's cooking was on zero, so that's why he was cooking a meal every 10 hours. Look at the higher their stat is, the faster they do it. So people that have a really high stat in hand gutting are gonna be, they're gonna, they're gonna gut more fish per hour than somebody that doesn't. So uh, we got the lowest guy, we got the greenhorn. Uh, we're a greenhorn captain, so uh, it seems to work out pretty well that way. Uh, but uh, I think keeping him is probably gonna be a good thing. We'll go grab these uh, nets off camera. I mean, uh, the long line off camera. We'll be back to net fishing in the next episode, I do believe. Let's see how much this sells for. Uh, 38,000, 22,000, 16,000. That's a pretty doggone good haul for a net. Uh, expenses. Uh, Sander Peterson, 1877. So we paid out 1,877 kroner. Uh, but our reputation at the port has increased. So 8,348. Uh, on top of 6,200, uh, 6, uh, 62,579. Uh, so our total haul was 68,835 kroner. Not too bad at all. Let's, um, 
I want to do something real quick before we take off. Uh, definitely want to repair a hole. Probably have to about, about to have to repair it again. Yeah. No, just slam us straight in. That's a good deal. Good idea. What? It? Why did it grab the lines on that side of the boat? It's been grabbing them on this side. That's so weird. Uh, let's go ahead and buy fuel. Now we want to switch back over to long line hauler. There we go. And I want to see how much our uh, engine upgrade is going to be. It's going to be 100,000. How much is our storage upgrade? 30. Not bad. So, all right. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to upgrade our engine because we're going to go pick up these long line, hopefully have some fish in them, uh, and get to 100K. Uh, if not, we're going to drop that net back out when we do go back out and pick those up and uh, uh, go from there or after we pick them up, I guess. Uh, but the net hauling is definitely the way to go. You catch pretty much your entire storage for one haul of the net if you drop it in a good spot. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, I don't say this in every video, but I'm going to start trying to. Look in the description below for uh, my Discord, Twitter, Twitch, Mixer. Definitely look at the Mixer because I'm going to be dual streaming on Mixer and YouTube. Uh, if you watch Mixer more than you watch uh, YouTube, be sure to check that out. And uh, also there's a Patreon down there. Um, I put a lot of effort into these videos. I put a lot of time into this kind of stuff. And if you do feel like you want to support me more than just by viewing and watching and liking a video, you're more than welcome to support me on Patreon. It is very helpful and very appreciated. Never needed, always appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Later, everybody.